All right, let's move on to the next piece of MMA news. We finally have the real reason why Paulo Costa dropped out of that fight. He got a hair transplant. Hey, this has got to be a fun. This got to be a fun. <laughs> this has got to be a joke, outrageous. right? No, this that's real. He's dude. He posted it on his Instagram. I know, but that was like a that was definitely a Photoshop picture. The one with like his little like goatee and then the hair that was gone. That's no, that's fake. real. He's getting the hair transplant. But the I didn't even know thick. the guy was balding. Oh my god, bro! I, who the fuck is it? There you go, Paula. Paulo, I I don't understand. You had everything. Paulo Acosta, you had everything going for you in life. You're the most chiseled, most beautiful man who knows how to fight. And it's like, and you're a top contender in this division. And somehow you just managed to fuck up every situation you're in. I just, I don't, I don't understand it. For whatever reason, I don't understand it. Israel Adesanya <laughs> fucked this guy's head up so bad. <laughs> Drama world. Costa got destroyed mentally oh after God, his. Bro. It's true. When you get butt fucked like that in front of millions of fans, it just, it messes with your mind, man. He's like not even balding yet. He's getting it's... a hair transplant. Just like, fuck it. I want a big. He's I don't pulling know what he's out of for. a top contender fight where if he would have beat Jared Cannonier, he would have been right in the discussion again for another title shot. What is going on? He just I don't, does I don't not want to go bald. Like some dudes <laughs> just cannot. They, he's just fighting it off. He would rather lose money than go bald. <laughs> That's determination and I fucking respect it. I mean, I guess, bro. I don't give a fuck about going bald. I want to go bald. I'm actually jealous of people who are bald. I fucking Tabor, you're hair. bald. Like, I'm bald I need bald-ing. to shave my head right now, bro. The shittiest thing about going bald is you got to put sunscreen on your head. Because yesterday I was working out in the sun and my head is red as fuck fuck right now it hurts so bad just wearing this I, hat i have a serious question do we ever see paula costa fight ever again <laughs> no <laughs> fucking serious man well, i mean a hair transplant plant uh according to and w it says six to eight months that's crazy that's so can't take any shots to the head i guess that makes sense just knocks a new hair right out is this fucking real life right now what a fucking crazy reason not to fight. Like, why not wait until after to decide if you're going to get a hair transplant? Right. Who the fuck needs a hair transplant <laughs> that goddamn bad? I don't know. I mean, even Baldy, I couldn't tell. I, oh, my God, bro. It's oh, just it's the so weirdest funny. thing. It's the weirdest fucking thing. I just don't get it. I love it. I fucking love it. This guy is wild, dude. I love He's out of his mind, brother. I love it. I love it. Izzy. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> That's why I got a canvas of Izzy, because he literally ruins people's fucking career. You can be undefeated. You can be a chiseled god. And somehow Israel Adesanya will get in your head and fuck you up, and you'll never be the same again. Yeah. Shocking. Wow. Shocking. I, I mean, what do, we, what do we do with Paula now? I mean, six to eight months out, I mean, you don't give him a, a Jared Cannon here no. after that. No, I, mean, I don't I don't care. I don't even want to talk about it. Because it's like six, <laughs> six to eight months from now. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, anything could happen. You could have fucking, you know, Uriah Hall in the top five yeah, by I mean, then. Yeah, you could. I mean, goodness gracious. I, I don't know. Paul, we Paulo will button. have an afro next time we see him. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He's just got a faux hawk. It's just a giant fucking It should ball. be a mullet. If he comes back with anything <laughs> less than a mullet, fuck Paulo Costa. No, no, yeah. If he comes back with a mullet, all all sins are forgiven. Yeah, We will absolutely. love you, Paulo Costa. Come back with a mullet. Hey, let bygones be bygones. Come in. We'll give you a top... Top contender. We're gonna hand you a Budweiser and a high five <laughs> yeah. right when you come in, brother. Absolutely. Yes. He's got a fucking Confederate flag tattooed on his chest. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Maga no. across he's, the he's, neck. No, he's Brazilian, guys. It doesn't work that way. It does I not do. work that way. Uh, ignor MMA. This is a this is a good one. He heard Izzy likes long hair. Oh, that's just <laughs> fucked up. Hey, you like something to grab. They're just clowning him. Oh, I love it. Oh gosh. Yeah, I agree with the drama. I did want to see Whitaker versus Costa. That was the fucking fight to make. And yes, then it was. He fucked that off. We don't even know the reason why he dropped out of that fight. I no. think it was an injury or something, but he just dropped that off. And then he gets another great matchup handed to him that would keep him in the top five, could keep him relevant in Jared Cannonier, and then he fucks that off again. And now he's getting a hair transplant, can't fight for six, eight months. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know. No idea, man. It's wild. It is wild. It's super weird. And it's unfortunate because I really like Paulo. He's a fucking savage, and he... He was one of my favorite fighters coming into that Israel Adesanya fight, and then that happened, and he just fucking fell off the wagon. Yeah, ever since then, it's just nothing's ever been the same. It's wild. It's wild. It's a wild story. I love that one. (laughs) 